I'm Vishal. I'm a verbal faculty working with Time Pooling. The purpose of this video is we are going to talk about how you will prepare for the VAT sessions, which is one of the stage when it comes to your selection process. Now, before we go to the uh, VAT topic, what I want everyone to do is make sure that you go to the go through the previous video that we had come up with regarding the group discussion and the personal interviews. And before I jump to the VAT, I really like to. Uh, congratulate all the students for all the calls that you have got and I hope you get more calls henceforward. Now, the topics that we are go going to cover under the VAT is we are going to talk about why VAT has been conducted by all the top B schools, how it is evaluated or how it is measured, what should be the approach that you need to follow and maybe at the end I will give you one or two topics where you can write about that particular topic and make sure that you get evaluated that from the faculty that you are in touch with. Now before I go to the topics, what I would really like to do is make sure that when it comes to your VAT, as it is included in your selection process, what they are actually looking at is what subject knowledge that you have regarding the topic or maybe I can call it as the content of the topic. They also look at the logical flow that you have when it comes to your topic. At the same time, they can look for your grammar. But that is something that can be not very much important. But obviously, yes, that does get considered. Now, why do they look at your what? It's basically to look at how you think about the topic and how do you find a form, a structure out of it. So that is something that is very important. Now, typically when it comes to your IAMs, what they have is, 10 to 15 minutes is the time frame given for you to write a VAT. So in the particular time duration that has been allotted to you, make sure that you stick to 200 to 250 words. That would be the ideal number of words that you can use for the topic given. And obviously it is a non-elimination method. Now there is one difference that I would really like to talk about is when it comes to your SPJ and interviews, before you go to your group PI, before that you have 20 minutes for psychometric test and the VAT session and there is no uh, time given for both separately what they do is they give you 20 minutes so make sure that you finish your psychometric test in the first 5 minutes and make sure you are honest because it does get reflected in your CV so that is very important as well as crucial and in the left out 15 minutes make sure that you try to look at your VAT and before you start writing take one or two minutes Collect the ideas and the structure maybe that you can have. Maybe you can write down two or three words and then you can start writing once you are done with the content, a bit of it. So, that is something that you really need to look at. Now, how do I need to go about the approach when it comes to VAT is something that is very important before you start preparing for your VAT or before you start writing it. So, when it comes to your approach, what we need to look at is, we'll take an example, through an example, it will be much easier for us to discuss this approach. So we have one approach called as VAT, which is your view of the affected parties. We have one more approach which is followed for VAT, that is spelt approach, which is your social, political, economic aspect, the legal aspect of it and the technical aspect of it. And obviously there is one more approach that can be also implemented, which is your keyword approach. Now, how do I need to select this approach is what we are going to talk about and it is much easier for us to discuss this with an example. So let's say we will take one topic which is the actual IM Calcutta topic of the last year for the VAT session. The topic given was euthanasia. Now, if you look at this particular topic, everyone I am sure is aware of this topic but how do I write an essay about it? The most important thing is you need to highlight your opinion when it comes to your VAT. Now when I say this, if the duration is 10 to 15 minutes, obviously the number of words is 250 or 200 words. In the first introduction part, you should have your opinion and it should be precise. Obviously when I look at the second part of it, that is the body, you need to elaborate it explain it and obviously the best explanation that you can come up with is the example. So that is something that you really need to look at. So introduction should be your opinion should be highlighted. That is the most important part. Body should be with examples and conclusion is something that will re-emphasize on your opinion that you have. So if you look at this topic, what do you think can be the approach that we can follow? 
Obviously, euthanasia is something where if a person is going through a pain or a suffering, he can take his own life. Now, in this case, if I look at the first approach that we can implement here is the view of the affected parties. Who will be the affected parties in this particular example? Obviously, the patient that we are talking about. If he is suffering, he can, stay, he can take his own life. So in that case, it is your voluntary euthanasia. If I talk about involuntary euthanasia, it is your second perspective along with, let's say, non-voluntary euthanasia. So when it comes to view of the affected parties, I can talk about the patients, the people who are the close ones, that is family, friends and so on. So make sure that you try to look from the a party's perspective. So that is what exactly this particular approach means. Obviously this is one approach which you can implement. At the same time we can look at the spelt approach because if I talk about euthanasia we can look at what does the society think of this. Let's say if I look at involuntary euthanasia. It can be something which can be uh, maybe uh, a few countries can oppose it. If I talk about euthanasia it is legal in Canada, it is legal in Belgium and Switzerland but what is the perspective in India that we can talk about? Let's say in uh, March from March 2018, euthanasia, the passive euthanasia has been made legal. So make sure when it comes to a single word, we can look at view of the affected parties as I've already told or you can look at the uh, spelt approach. Just say if I can talk about the legal aspects, that is what does the uh, legal aspect says when it comes to this topic. Now if I look at the third approach, that is your keyword approach, Keyword approach is much easier or it is much better when it comes to the topic which is more on the uh, elaborate side. If I look at this topic, obviously it is a single word. So it can't follow the keyword approach. What can be the example of this? We'll take one more example which is the IIM Lucknow example of VAT. And the topic given was Nostalgia finds away the hard edges of good old memories. Now, if you look at this particular topic, I'm sure everyone is aware of the term nostalgia. Now what does exactly nostalgia mean? It is something that has happened in your past, a good memory of years, yours, but which cannot come back to you. Let's say if I go to Rome and I am feeling bad about remembering the good memories that I had in this particular country. In that case, I can't call this as nostalgia. Nostalgia is something, the best example can be, let's say, your childhood memories, the good memories. So, obviously, this one term is something that the people can get uh, attracted towards. But, if I look at this topic of I am Lucknow, what we really are looking for are the keywords. Now, if you look at the keywords, obviously, one is nostalgia. The second one is hard edges. I need to emphasize on this as well. And obviously, I will look at old, good old memories as well. So the approach completely depends on the topic is what we are looking at. But obviously, as I've already discussed, euthanasia, we can go for view of the affected parties or spelt approach is much better than that. Whereas when it comes to such a topic which is more on the elaborate side, we can look at the keyword approach. At the same time, uh, usually, let's say there are some topics which are on the extreme side. Let's say we take example as politics or let's say something related to religion. In that case, make sure that you try to have a neutral stand. And if you are trying to look at the opinion of yours regarding the topic, what you can try to do is, let's say you have more positive points regarding the topic assigned to you or let's say you have less negative points in that case. Make sure that you try to highlight the more points that you have, try to support that side so that you can have more examples and it will be much better. At the same time, it will make a good impression on the reader. So this is something that you really need to look at when it comes to your approaches. Now, before we jump to this, uh, the other thing that we have is I'm going to give you the topics on which you can give it a try. And uh, if I'm not wrong, there is one more perspective that you can include. When it comes to usually the keyword approach, it is better for the abstract topics. And if you look on the, uh, on the topics which are uh, broader in nature, what you can do is you can think about VAP or you can also go for the spent approach. One thing that I want to add here is, before we go to the topics that you're going to give it a try, there is one structure that you can follow for your VAT, that is the coder approach. Now what does coder say? First thing that I will do is try to collect the ideas based on the topic given to you. So for the first one or two minutes, try to have the key words and the key aspects of the topic assigned to you. Then try to form a structure. Now before you go for the structure, in the first minute or two, maybe in a rough paper, you can note down three or four 
keywords so that it will be much better for you to write it in a proper form. So first try to collect the ideas, then try to organize them and develop the ideas. Now when I say develop the ideas, what you are actually looking at is the logical flow of the uh, essay that you are writing. Because if there is a flow, it will be, it will make a good impression on the reader and there is one more thing that you should be uh, aware of. When it comes to a VAT topic, it is also sometimes evaluated by the panel members who actually take your interviews. So make sure that you are aware of that. So that is something that really needs to be taken care of. So develop them is basically you will try to highlight your opinion obviously yes. At the same time examples and elaboration and explanation of it is something that we cover in the two stages that is developing and expressing your opinion on the topic. If time permits you can also review the topic. Now this is something maybe you won't find the time to review the topic given to you but obviously that is something that is recommendable. So I would really like to uh, go through this particular approach which you can actually implement in your VAT. Now coming to your topics, these are the three topics I want to people to give it a try and make sure that you get it evaluated from the faculty that you are in touch with. The first topic that I have given here is women's safety, what can be done? Question marks. Now this is something that I can go and uh, you know you can try to cover both the sides of it and the second topic that we have come up with is advertising is harmful to children. And the third one is a very different topic from the first two topics that is social interactions will break down without some lies. So these are the three topics. Make sure that you give it